Hello and welcome to another video that covers some of the changes to the common body of knowledge that happened back in May of 2021. This video is intended for both newcomers and for those of you who've been studying the common body of knowledge since before May. The topic of incident response changed quite a bit since 2018, so we're going to dig into the new topics as if we have no knowledge of the old topics. All right, so let's dive right into the mnemonic for 2021. I will leave my 2018 video up for historical purposes because ISC squared might revert to that one in 2024. I've noticed after a decade of studying this, some of the older concepts tend to come back now and then, so you just never know. But the phrase we're going to use this time is Peter Parker with four R's. Because if you've been around as long as I have, you'll know that the film franchise for Spider-Man was rebooted four times. We have the Tobey Maguire version, which is still my favorite to this day. We have Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and the cartoon film that was voiced by Shamik Moore, and hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Technically, he's not Peter Parker, but there are a few other Peter Parkers in that film. And just to let you know, if you're new to this channel, we do promote using a lot of silly or goofy mnemonics to help you all memorize this stuff, because if you come from a really technical background, some of this more administrative stuff can be really daunting. And the same goes for those of us who've been on the administrative side for most of our careers, where the technical stuff kind of gets us down. It gets really difficult sometimes. So Peter with four R's. Let's break this down in the next slide. So here's a chart we made of the acronym, and I do recommend pausing the video at this point to copy this down onto your memorization sheet. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on. So I'll give you a few minutes. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, so hopefully you had a minute to copy that chart down. So let's jump into the phases or, st or steps of the incident response process. The first step is preparation. Preparation includes creating or having a policy in place. It also includes planning and having incident response procedures in place. It also includes incorporating incident response activities and requirements into the SETA or CETA, which used to be SATE. It's Security Education Training and Awareness Materials. It should also include having the proper software in place to track and automate some of the incident response activities. And the last thing here is resources. Now, the common body of knowledge lists out buildings as a resource for incident response, but I think you can assume that any type of resource needed to carry out incident response could fit in here whether it's cash reserves, personnel, third-party vendors, etc., etc. Moving on to the detection phase, we have alerting, which typically refers to the SIM product sending alerts to security professionals that it's detected something that could cause harm, like excessive file access or non-approved IP address ranges, logging into authorized accounts, and so on. This is basically your intake process in its various forms. So whether your SOC is taking in alerts or your investigators are taking calls about bad activity, it's all very similar as to how it works. You can also take in results of log reviews or consider something that might be discovered in the audit process. Ethical disclosure from Domain 6 might be something to think about in the context of incident response. Is ethical disclosure considered detection or some other phase of the incident response process. Something like that might come up in the exam where they cross domain topics to really test your knowledge. Next is the analysis phase. This is where evidence and logs are examined. You have activities like reviewing, correlating logs and evidence. We have prioritizing artifacts, which could be including labeling and media marking. We have compiling the evidence and tracking the evidence. And you also have tracking the incident, or at least opening that ticket and enabling the tracking would occur at this phase. Uh, the notification piece up here would be to notify the stakeholders, such as human resources, the legal team, maybe the privacy officers or the privacy office or the internal affairs. And lastly, forensics would also happen at this phase. The common body of knowledge talks about something called forensic readiness, which simply means being prepared to conduct forensic analysis. And that preparatory work would happen at the preparation phase way back at the beginning of incident response. In the response phase, we have three activities. We have mitigation, which obviously means reducing the risk to the lowest or most acceptable level possible. We have containment, which means we isolate the threat. And we have eradication, which means that we eliminate the threat. Recovery and remediation is where we restore the business to a state of normalcy or normal operations. And we also want to make sure that our efforts result in the prevention of any possible recurrence. And the reporting phase only contains one activity, which is to let everyone know that the incident is basically over or that it's contained. 
or that normal operations have resumed. And by the way, this is a management decision. In the review and analysis phase, we have activities like conducting the lessons learned meeting. We review what's happened and we review the artifacts and artifacts are defined as hardware, software, or documents, which is basically evidence related to the incident. And this is where we look for opportunities to improve the incident response process. Typically organizations will follow some type of continuous improvement model here, like the PDCA or plan, do, check, act method. Some use Six Sigma, etc., etc. So that concludes this quick lesson. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know and remember to visit our site to see if what we have to offer might help you along your journey towards a CISSP certification. Thanks for watching and have a great day.